If you have not heard, I have recently been a victim of extortion, defamation, and slander. I knew this was a cold world, but never did I foresee something this disturbing upon me. Thank you to all of my ACE family members for all of your concerns, and thank you to those who know my character and my heart. I don't wish this upon anyone, and I can only hope that those responsible for this learn from their mistakes and become better people. My family and I dealing with this matter privately and taking legal action. Bullying, extortion, slander, and defamation of character is something I will not stand for, and I can promise that justice will be served. Money is the root of all evil. The problem that I have with Austin McBroom's response is that he starts off his sentence claiming to be a victim. And he could be, but why start off in that way is that it's as if he wants sympathy from people right away. And extortion. Let's go ahead and Google the definition of extortion. The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. If he's talking about suing Cole for extortion, I don't think that's gonna work. And the reason why I say this is because Cole never reached out to him to talk about money. This was a private message between him and his friend. So they didn't even get to that point yet. But I'm pretty sure if it did get to that point, then I'm pretty sure you, know, you have all the evidence to sue him for that. Now, defamation and slander, possibly yes. If this is all lies, then yes, you have the right to sue his ass, <laughs> okay? My opinion still stands. I believe Austin McBroom is a cheater. I believe he cheats on his wife, fiance, whatever you wanna call Catherine, many times. I'm not gonna say all the time, but many times I think he is a cheater. A rapist? I'm still not sure. I know I jumped the gun and I said I believe it. I do believe that a rape happened. I don't necessarily know if Austin McBroom was part of that. There's just been so many girls trying to come out and letting Catherine know and letting the world know that Austin McBroom is a cheater. But they signed these NDAs and they can't disclose much. They just can't. Legally, they can't do it. But there is this girl by the name of Danielle Victor, and she is a witness to his cheating. If you haven't seen her video yet, here's a couple clips. And then I went out about maybe like five, six months ago, and I rarely, rarely ever go out. And I, I went to hide on Sunset. And I saw him there, obviously not with Catherine. And he's just full blown. And I'm talking about full blown cheating on his wife in public. like. I'm talking about lip biting, um, making out, hair grabbing in a VIP section in the middle of in, in the middle of Hide on Sunset. Mind you, nobody walking in a Hide on Sunset is signing an NDA form. Like we're not walking into the club and protecting. Like the nightclub is not making us protect you. So he was willingly in public cheating on his goddamn gorgeous fiance, who's probably at home with their two children. So maybe like two or three months after that, I go back to hide on Sunset. And he's in there again with somebody completely different doing the same exact thing. Just full blown in public, making out, groping, dancing, grinding on someone who's not his wife. So I'm literally looking in the camera and I'm going to say, Catherine, your husband cheats on you. I have witnessed him cheat on you. Do I know of anything else that he's done behind closed doors? Absolutely not. But he cheats. And cheating should be enough for you to pack your goddamn fucking bags and move into your own mansion and make your own money. But do not stay in a relationship with someone who is knowingly and willingly out in public disrespecting you. I believe her, y'all. I believe her. I truly do. But we're gonna go ahead and watch a video. Drama Alert posted a video and I've been waiting for this because I want to know what Keem has to say about all this. Keem Star. Let's get it. Trouble 
nation of your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news! The Ace Valley is being accused of some serious, serious crimes. If you remember on Last Drummer, I said the very next video tomorrow was going to be a video about Austin from the Ace Family and this cheating stuff. But that video never came. Basically, for months and like, like a year, people have been coming out saying, you know, that they hooked up with Austin, but they can't say anything because they signed an NDNA, they signed a contract, they're worried about Austin suing them. And none of these girls ever like come out like with a video or do an interview and all of a sudden they just disappear. Now you guys have been hounding me. Do you blame them though? Would you want to get sued? To like get on this story and report this story and we've been working on it. In fact, we had one girl that was coming on to do an interview to tell us about her and Austin and everything and then she disappeared. And without my star witness, I couldn't make a video last week on Austin. I can't even get a hold of this girl anymore. So me and my team, we started digging more and more and we found this tweet from Cole Kerrigan. On October 3rd, Cole tweeted out, how does no one know their entire brand is fake? Austin has Christian mingled so many of my friends recently, even one girl with his own father. And Catherine knows and is okay with it as long as he's home in time for the vlog. Now listen, I am gonna play devil's advocate pretty much. I am gonna state um, points from both ends, okay? Now when it comes to this tweet, he said Austin has fucked so many of my friends recently. Even one girl with his own father. Now in this one he says fucked, he doesn't say raped. Fucks. Wow, so I've heard these rumors about Austin cheating, but now apparently he's hooking up with Instagram models with his dad. So listen, <laughs> so since my witness is missing, I can't find her, I need to bring someone else on to continue the story, so I reached out to Cole Carrington, called him, I was like, dude, what's your number? And I got on the phone with him and I was explaining to him, like, everybody has told me this, I know this is a thing, I know this is real, I just need actual proof, I need to talk to someone, can I talk to your friend that hooked up with Austin? Cole basically told me he'll get back to me. And uh, less than five minutes after our conversation, a random person starts texting me and telling me that Cole is in a relationship or was in a relationship with Austin and he's mad because Austin doesn't like him anymore. What? Like, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe a word that I'm hearing. And there's been many rumors that Austin is gay as well, so like that I don't believe. I do he, I do believe he has um, pretty boy tendencies, but that's it. And I'm starting to think that Cole literally gave my number out to someone to try to feed me some BS for like me to cover this story about him and Austin and being in a relationship so he can get clout off of this. So at this point... But, but there's no proof of that, so let's move on. I don't believe anything Cole says, and on top of it, I'm pretty sure he leaked my number, which is not cool at all. So anyhow, Cole doesn't get back to me. He doesn't hook me up with his friend that hooked up with Austin. And so I have no video, so I don't make a video. So Cole ends up texting me a couple days later saying, so how much did they pay you to not make the video? Skull emoji. Now listen, um, you can't pay me to not make a video. I'm pretty well off. I thought this was kind of a joke question. I didn't think he was being serious. So I responded sarcastically by saying 500K. I'm waiting for him to- Okay, so hold on. So Keemstar doesn't know Cole. Not at all, not even on a personal level, no nothing. This is their first conversation together. How are you gonna joke with him? And you don't know if he has the same sense of humor as you do. So do I believe that? I don't know yet to say like, really, or ha ha ha, there is no response, none. And again, this <laughs> happened on Friday, so I'm busy, I'm doing family stuff. Four hours later, still no response. So I decided to respond to him. I responded on Friday at 9.14 p.m. Cole, I'm being sarcastic. Okay. That sounds a little, I don't know, that sounds a little bit suspicious to me. He waited four hours to text him again and say, Cole, I'm being sarcastic. 
Either one, this could be true that he got $500,000 in payoff from Austin to be quiet and he just realized that he fucked up by texting him that and that could really mess up things. Or two, he was really being sarcastic and he's trying to let him know, hey Cole, don't take this, what I just said, it's serious because it's not that. And you would think at this point he'd be like, oh, or something. Still no response at all. So well, uh, that's that. Actually, Cole made some type of tweet that like, you know, Drama Alert was paid 500K to not do the story, which isn't true. So I had to correct him. And on Friday, I made this tweet. Dude asked me, how much did the Ace family pay me not to make a vid? I said 500K sarcastically, and now he's making an exposed vid. Truth is, the woman I planned on interviewing went missing in action. Thought it was rude, he would assume that I would sell out my multi-million dollar brand, shaking my head. Well, I don't know, Keemstar. $500,000 for doing absolutely nothing sounds like some good money to me. I don't care how much money you make with your drama alert channel. You don't have to do any work. You just have to be quiet to make $500,000. So, I don't know. Okay, well that's that. Until yesterday when Cole uploaded a video. And that video is titled, The Truth About the Ace Family. Now in this video, Cole says this. Roll. He didn't tweet anything, he didn't upload anything. So I texted him saying how much did they pay you to keep quiet and he responded with this and I was completely shocked. I immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off $500,000 to keep quiet about the situation and that I needed to come forward. What? I, I think you're missing some text there, bro. <laughs> like, where's the whole like, I'm being sarcastic, how come that's not added in there? True. He didn't want to put that out there. That's true. At the same time, it still looks bad that you messaged that four hours later. So I don't know, even if he showed it, I don't know, it would, it would still be questionable. Were we just gonna act like that doesn't exist? And quite frankly, you've been very adamant on Twitter that you are going to ruin the Ace family, so if they did pay me off 500K, why would I tell you? For those that are mentally challenged. That's a fact, that is, that, that is also a good point. If he was part of blackmailing the Ace family, or extortion, whatever you may call it, why would he tell Cole, someone that he never ever talked to in his life? Everything is messy. I was not paid any money by the Ace family not to run any story. And if I was offered money, I'd refuse it. I've refused money in the past, I'll refuse it forever. Like, this show and the integrity of the show is way more important to me. Okay, now let's get on to these allegations, okay? Because I thought this was a cheating story, but when we saw Cole's so did video, I. it turned into deep rape. Like this, deep. this is a rape story. In Cole's video, he's interviewing anonymous woman who's using a voice changer, who is saying that her and her friend went on Austin from the Ace family's yacht or whatever boat, and Austin, his friend, and his dad got these girls super drunk and raped them, both of them. Serious, serious allegations. Now, quite frankly, there's some problems with this story. Like, one, she's anonymous. Two, she's using a voice changer. And the source of this whole story is coming from Clown Kerrigan. <laughs> like, the guy that literally just pulled this stunt on me. So, I'm having a hard time believing every single word. But anyhow, once we saw Cole's video, I mean, this is drama. We had to do some work. We need to find out who these girls were, if there was any truth of this story. And we found... The other girl. The other girl in question is Leslie Hannah Bell. I reached out to her on Instagram, had a long conversation with her on the phone privately, and she was going to come on to do an interview, but like almost every girl involved in this Austin thing, they just disappear. But anyhow, what Leslie told me was absolutely shocking. She told me a completely different story. And even though she didn't come on for an interview, she texted me with a link to her Instagram story where she said this. <laughs> to speak on the video that Cole Kerrigan posted, some of you have already figured out that I am the other girl they're talking about in the video. I feel like this video was made for the wrong reasons. And this wasn't Cole's story to tell. 
Nicole even texts me saying we could potentially get paid $100,000 from this following claim that Drum Alert was paid off 500k. Swipe right to see the text. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so you deliberately misrepresented what I said, Cole. You tried to make people think that I was paid off, but the girls in question, the girl that actually experienced this, is saying that you were trying to make money? I think we need to swipe right. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you ready? I think we need to swipe right, too. Come on, let's read these messages. We're about to swipe right. Let's see this. <laughs> it appears that we have text messages between Cole and Leslie where uh, Cole seems to be saying, enough proof, but the point of this is not to upload the video. The point is to scare them into paying us off because they paid Drumler 500K. So I'm sure they would want to pay me 100K for more, not to say shit. And then I could split that with you guys if you help me and send me all the receipts that I need. Okay, reading that message, I will say this. Never in that message did it say that the story is fake. What Cole is trying to do though is make money off of it, which is so fucked up. That is not a friend. You get me? I still believe everything that Cole said because I truly believe these girls, something happened in that, in that hotel room. And I believe rape happened. Cole is using this to m try to make some money off of them. That's not a friend. Hold the phone! Cole Carrington, you mean to tell me your friends allegedly got raped and on top of it, you want to use their rape story to make yourself some money. You're going to split it with the rape. And then, and then, Cloud Carrington, you have the audacity to try to send out this BS that I was paid 500k. I mean, it's just despicable. I mean, it's just, that's so despicable. But anyhow, let's go back to Leslie's original post where she says, I wasn't aware that Amanda or Cole were in contact with Drumler to anonymously run our story. But I was aware of Cole's video being made and I only wanted to be factual if it was ever going to be posted. I want to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not rape me or anyone. I'm currently handling this situation in my own way. I brought this to social media to address the false accusations. This isn't what I wanted. There's several sides to every story and this isn't how I wanted to tell mine. Oh man, I don't know how to make of this. I really don't know. This, let's, okay, let's, let's, let's look at it from this scenario. Let's say Leslie was raped by Austin McBroom, okay? This is just a scenario. I'm not saying this is fact. She was raped by Austin McBroom and whoever else was in the room. Cole comes out with this video, pretty much outs her. She lives there in California where, all, where Hollywood is, a whole bunch of celebrities, a whole bunch of YouTubers and they all have mutual friends. So a lot of people are gonna turn their backs on her. A lot of people are not gonna wanna be associated with her. And the bullying is gonna be happen happening in social media, all because of that video by Cole. Austin's team is threatening her of suing her for all these, for all these allegations that's coming out. And she's afraid now. And that's what people with money and power do. They do that, they threaten, it makes the victim stay quiet and take back everything that they've said. But let me give you an example. Instead of saying, I, want, I just want to say that Austin didn't rape me. She didn't say Austin didn't rape me. She said, I just want to say that Austin McBroom is not to blame in the situation and did not rape me or anyone. That's basically making a legal statement saying that he didn't do anything to her because she used his full name, Austin McBroom and making it clear that he did not rape her. Money and power will shut anyone up. Now that's just one scenario. Another scenario is maybe Austin did not rape her. Maybe Austin had nothing to do with that situation at all. But if he was in that room when that happened, for me, in my opinion, Austin is just as bad as the rapist. Wow. So this is a very serious situation and it should have been handled seriously from the beginning. 
It should never have been on Clown Keratin's channel. Like, I didn't know how much of a clown you were until this situation, but from here on out, you're canceled, bro. The thing is, I don't think he's lying. That's the thing. I don't think he's lying. He's going off of what his friends have told him. But he did it all for the wrong reasons. He's doing it to make money and to get attention. And that's the sad part. That's the saddest part ever. Bro, I am never trusting another word you say, period. I posted some of this stuff on Twitter last night and I got some feedback from people that were saying, you care more about exposing Cole than getting to the bottom of what happened to this girls. Well, when you have something like this involved in the story with not telling the truth and obviously money motivated, it, it clouds the whole thing and the people that are guilty are going to get away. This stuff needs to be taken serious. Like, we put three people in prison for serious crimes, right? It has to be taken serious. Like, you can't run a circus for clout and views and attention and money. And that's true. Rape is such a big deal. Like, that's such a serious accusation. Let's just say that these are all lies and Austin is completely innocent. His name has been tarnished no matter what. No matter what. This will always follow him. If you Google him or if you look, search him on YouTube, if you just put Ace Family, a whole bunch of videos will come up, including mine, with the word rapist around that name. That word never existed next to that family's channel. Never. And now it will always stick to it. And that is pretty shitty if Austin is innocent. But if this is true, I'm hoping that the victims of this rape follows through and presses charges. If you have ever been violated, call the cops, go to the hospital, make sure you do a rape kit right away and you'll have evidence. What sucks about this whole thing is that these girls might not have much evidence to prove their case because this is months later. It's pretty much hearsay. And if this happened, that, that sucks and they're getting away with something like this. Like this, no. Anyhow, I just wanna let you guys know that me and my team are on this. We will get to the bottom of this. If you wanna keep up to date with this story and many others in the community, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on because as soon as I get the scoop, I'm gonna keep you in the loop. Drum Alert Nation, now over 5,300,000 subscribers. What did you guys think about that? Like I said, I truly believe Austin is a cheater. Period. A rapist? I'm not sure yet. I need more proof. I need more proof. I do believe that a rape did occur in that hotel room. By who? I don't know. Only the people involved know the situation. If you have an opinion about this, please comment below because I would like to hear it. It doesn't have to match mine. Now before I let all of you go, I want to say happy birthday to my best friend of 19 years. She is no longer here with us. She passed away in 2016. Uh, she would have been 34 years old. Yeah, she would have been 34 years old. But I want to take a quick shot just to wish her a happy birthday because I miss the bitch. Baby! Do you want to take a shot with me? Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Cecilia's birthday. Oh, yeah. So, what do you want to take a shot of? Okay, it's say hi to say hi to the people first of all. Hi. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Bliss and Pris. It'll be at the end of this video. You know what I'm saying? We'll be vlogging up in there. And there she goes, putting her mess again on my my side. What a hater, yo. No. This is why I can't bring you to this video. This is why I can't bring you to this video. No. What you gonna complain about? <laughs> what you gonna complain? Cause she knows that if I would put my stuff onto her stuff on her side, oh, she'll get mad. She'll be like, oh, you have your side. So just like I have, you have your side, I have my side. So take your shit out of my side. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the married life. Happy birthday, Biatch. Happy birthday, Cecilia. There would have been 34. Happy birthday, bitch. Mm -mm. You chased it with coffee? I had nothing else. <coughs> Woo! Ooh, I got goosebumps. Y'all don't believe me. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. <coughs> I hate that taste. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also to the Bliss and Pris channel that I have with my wife. I will see you in the next video. Peace.